not fast enough. and which techniques would be best to prepare for before going to the moon. Another valuable conclusion that NASA made early on was that due to the slower falls, the astronauts had time to correct a slip or work on standing back up in case of a fall. Some of their conclusions were less helpful, such as stating that the number of falls were caused by loss of traction because of loose soil. One of the astronauts written about in these reports was Charles Duke, who was trying to lift a pair of dropped tongs when he stepped on them instead and lost his balance trying to pick them up. He fell face first, ironically, after he was trying to pick up the tongs to then pick up a hammer he had dropped a few moments before. That fall was relatively harmless. A minor setback for a major comeback. Sometimes I wonder when that scene become unhealthy. You know? But it depends on how sick you is for your goals. Because for some people, giving up is just not part of the vocabulary. Even though they could say it. But saying and doing is two different things at the same time, you know? <laughs> Now I mean to get too biblical here, but some people just say that God will send people or situations into their life, or even objects. The devil will send people as well, you know, and situations and objects. It all depends on your reaction at the end of the day. Because some people know it like to jump over these hurdles in life and win the race. Some people know it like to have a back against the wall and to push through. Some people know it like to walk into a wall. But the end of the day is about the breakthrough.